All right, we're going to check out this light here by CV Life today. Let's see if it shows the model number. I'll have a link in the description to this, guys, if you want to go check it out. Um, 800 lumen. This one is rechargeable, and it also has this one specifically. Uh, it's got a green laser as well, so you can switch from flashlight to laser or flashlight and laser at the same time. It's got a quick release detach right here, which is nice. Um, it also has the, uh, was it pulse strobe, uh, mode as well. Levers on the side there for actuation either side. And probably the coolest feature I thought with this thing, see that little tab sticking up there that locks into your, uh, rail or what have you. It's kind of hard for me to do this. Well, I think I got to flip it open first. Might help. I'm probably holding the wrong parts, keeping myself from, the, there you go. You hear it clicking and see it moving so you can actually adjust this farther or closer away uh, to the trigger guard so you can get the look you're looking for and also put it exactly where you know your fingers gonna reach it where you want it so I thought that was the coolest feature right there and then the the quick detach here and mount is pretty nice as well now obviously this is more of a nighttime thing so here within a, a few minutes in this video I will show you what this looks like at night so no worries there uh, but I just wanted to show it to you here in the daylight and we'll take a few shots here in the daylight as well because I do not have a range where I can shoot at dusk or dark uh, to do that unfortunately so we'll take a few shots in the daytime here plus I want to get this thing uh, zeroed you can zero the laser for where your bullets are hitting so that's awesome because sometimes you don't get that uh, so we're gonna utilize that method as well on the target down here to make sure we can get her zeroed for the pistol and whatnot take a few shots with the light and laser on make sure it still works and then i'll take it home tonight and show you guys what it looks like at night i brought a couple guns to show you kind of what it'll ooh, let me zoom out here what it'll look like on different uh guns so this is a taurus g2 this is a sub compact okay so you got micro is the smallest then sub compact then compact then full size this is a sub compact so this is a pretty small little carry gun here so I'll show you here, I'll latch it on, but I just want to show you, see how I can adjust that depending on where I want it to rest. So lock it in place there. There you go. Um, you can adjust it with this screw here. If it's uh, fitting too tight on your gun or too loose, you can adjust that so you get it to latch down exactly how you want. So there it is on a subcompact. And then here's a full size really big glock here this is a g35 so not only is this a full size but it's actually an extended slide uh, this is longer than most full size pistols so i think it looks a little wonky on here uh, because this gun's so big so this is going to fit real nice on something like that subcompact of course it'll work on full size like this it just might look a little dwarf compared to the uh, gun and again this is larger than most full size so uh, there it is all the way forward and then you can see I can bring it back. So like I said, that's a really awesome feature. So I can bring this all the way back, even on this super long Glock 35 here um, so that I can reach the controls. And so there it is on a larger than average full size. So here's the laser. I gotta take my sunglasses off. This is broad freaking daylight, full sun. You can still see it in the house during the day. I can see it easy as crap. It's super bright in the house. Again, obviously the purpose of this is nighttime, but I just wanted to show you that even in uh, broad daylight, you can still see it. So it's a pretty decent laser. Um, let me flip it to the light real quick. So the light's pretty bright too. Like I said, I'll show you guys in a few minutes once it's actually dusk and then dark. It's, it's a pretty decently bright light. All right, so it'll be a little difficult to see broad freaking daylight like this, but I want to go ahead and try to zero this laser just for the the video. So I'm going to aim at that uh, top little red dot. Let me see if you guys should be able to... Yep, you can see the laser there. So I'll uh, just take a couple shots here with it. And uh, we'll see where it is, and then I'll adjust it. So, man, I am having a hard time <laughs> seeing that.
Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing it because it's so freaking bright out. It's full sun right now. Again, this is a nighttime thing. Um, but obviously, it's averaging right um, so at well and low. So let me give it some clicks up and some clicks to the left to make sure that it works. And then we'll go from there. And by the way, there's your charging cable there. USB. And instructions are on the bottom side of that. And they even give you the little tools here. I thought this little screwdriver was cool. All right, I made some adjustments. Should be fairly close. It's probably not gonna be 100%. Let's go for that dot on the right now. So as long as my point of impact uh, moved higher and off to the left, then the adjustments work. But I can tell you they work because I turned it with the wrench while having the laser uh, on the target there and I could watch it turn left, right, up, down, so. And again, sorry for the camera moving, but there you have it. There's two damn near on bullseye there, so. I don't know how well you guys could see this again in the day but I mean to me the light is it's almost hard for me to look at down there it's so bright even during the daylight and you can see the well I can see it probably hard for you guys because this camera and whatnot laser there too but all right so next up we will try it out uh, at the house in the dark all right do a little demo here about 30 yards to that car this is well over 100 back here. Let's try the light out. Flip it to light, okay. So clearly there's a pole light there. So again, about uh, 30 some yards out there. And that lights that up even with that light. I'll come over here where it's completely dark. I'm gonna shine it on these trees down here, which is about 50 yards clear down in that corner past the closest tree so it lights up 50 yards no problem all right let's try light and laser i wonder if you guys it's gonna be hard until it gets further out i think you guys can see it there i can see it real easy the camera's not picking it up real well but i can see the laser real easy in the middle of that light there it's getting easier for you guys to see and so yeah, having that uh, flashlight on doesn't affect the laser a whole lot. You can still see it. All right, sorry about all the gun crap here. Uh, but yeah, this seems like a, a pretty good operating little light there. I actually have not even charged it since I got it. I've been messing around with it at the house, light and laser and making the cat chase the laser around. Uh, used it at the range as you saw, playing with it now uh, outside. And it has not seemed to lose, uh, have lost any steam. So um, that charge uh, must last for a decent amount of time. Like I said, that that laser is real nice and bright. Uh, bright. I probably had just had it 150 yards out there, and you could still see it no problem. Light itself looks like it does pretty good out to 50 yards if no but nothing was in the way, like that pine tree. And I think it reaches a little further, like 70, 80 yards or something like that. Which obviously that's further than you're ever going to shoot a pistol, especially at nighttime. So. I think of the size, it's actually a pretty decently bright light. Um, I've had lights that are not as bright as this one, uh, like my TX-22 here. This thing is, or well, the light I have on the TX-22 here is not as bright as this one. Uh, so I'm really happy with how bright the light is, especially for 800 lumens. It seems every bit 800 lumens, and that laser is pretty good laser too. But I'm pretty happy with it. Laser's good, light's good. I uh, really like the controls. These have little rubber pads on it. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, geez, that's bright. I about went blind there. Uh, both of them work like it should. Um, I don't know how well the strobe usually doesn't show up very good for me. You can kind of see it there. Um, camera doesn't pick it up real well because of the, um, all screen rate or whatever the heck it's called. I know I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, the, uh, strobe on it works too. Lever on it works real well. Nice audible clicks. Not clicking on that one, but 
just basically the overall function of it. I like the way it works. Um, it doesn't really take a learning curve. It To me, it's like everything's right where it should be. It works as it should. And then, like I said, I also really like that this is adjustable here. I keep forgetting i got to flip that open to move it. Um, yeah. So you can put it closer, further away from the trigger guard like you want or don't want. Quick release. And you can tighten or loosen it. And I tightened it up to where I had to press on this lever pretty hard to get them on those guns uh, nice and firm. I tried it on a couple. I think I only did one on camera. And I locked it down really snug to make sure it wasn't going to come off or anything like that. And I didn't have any issues with um, it coming off or, you know, the lever breaking or anything like that. So seems pretty well made. And for what it's worth, I know it was only a few shots, but 40 Smith & Wesson, so... Handled that, no problem. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to check it out, link in the description. Hope to see you on the next one.